don't say, I am working as a teacher. Please never say that. What do you mean by that? You are just, uh, just acting. Just acting. Yes, sir. But, I am a teacher. But, I am a teacher. Do you understand the difference between working as, but I am. So with so much of energy you have to say, I am a teacher. Right? You know when the teacher was born? Here is the answer. I was born the first moment that a question leaped from the mouth of a child. When a child asks a question, then the teacher is born. So the teacher is there to answer all the questions, all the questions of a student. So that time, the teacher is born. Throughout the course of a day, from morning to evening, after 12 class, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, if you go home, from morning 6 o'clock, if you are the resident teacher, throughout the course of a day, I am called upon Look at the roads now. I am called upon to be an actor. The moment you come to the classroom, it is a big stage. You are an actor. You have to present the lesson, not teach the lesson. You have to present it. To present it, think the whole body, mind and soul should work there. You need not teach 45 minutes. 15 minutes of presenting. Rest everything you can do otherwise. So first 15 minutes present the thing, present the lesson. Then you will become an actor. So for an actor, the whole body, mind and soul should work together. You are a lady teacher, you will not keep like this and then go on teaching it. No. You have to open up your body, show everything, moments and everything it should be. So you are an actor. Then a friend, please tell me, is there any better friend than a teacher to any student? Whatever problem he has, he has to come to the teacher only. He is only the one who can solve. No other member can solve student's problem. So you are only the greatest friend for any student. Then you are a nurse. Nurse to the body and to the mind. If the child gets hurt physically, you will nurse him physically. If a child gets hurt psychologically, then you will call him and say, you will soothe him. No, no, don't worry. It's all right, okay. No, no. no he's a bad boy. You are a good girl. Go and use it. No, you soothe him. So you are a nurse here and a doctor too. So physically and mentally you are treating the student. You are not making the state to go in the wrong route. That is your question. Then a coach. What is the difference between the teacher and the coach? coach. With the physical education master here? No, they are taking care of the students. Okay. So what is the difference between a coach and a master? Or a teacher? Coach will do the thing and show. So everything he acts and shows. But teacher is entirely he presents. So sometimes you have to be a coach. And coaching separately also. Independently, individually. Then the most important thing is if you suppose a child loses a pencil or a pen, where will he come? Madam, my pen is gone, madam, so he comes and you know, he said, no, no, I didn't find out. So, hey, who has taken the pencil or pen? And, uh, some of you. So, you are the finder of lost things. This is another thing. Finder of lost articles of students. And money lender. You will be given money sometimes and take it back again from them. Suppose, during intro time, all the children ran to the water, tuck shop and they are buying something. One child is not having money. Just he was looking at the whole thing. I know him. Hey, what happened to you? No, madam, I don't have any money. No, sir, I don't have any money to buy. Okay, take this and do this. Don't buy it. And tomorrow you can get it. 
you do this to one child in your life, you see the returns after 10 years or 15 years. Yeah? So you are a money lender. Next morning, it's the credit will be uh, repaid. You will not keep it with you. You will repay you. So, money lender. Then, psychologist. If there are 40 children in the classroom, 40 different psychologists are there, and you have to tag in each and every child according to the psychology of the child only. Don't measure all of them with the same uh, measure. Every child is unique. Every child is unique and every one of us also unique. Not the same. We don't have any similarities. Maybe very few physical similarities maybe. And substitute parent. As long as you are in the school, the child is our child only. We are the parents. So we step into the shoes of the parent and we serve him. And last important thing is keeper of faith. Don't lose your faith before you are so in space. Keep that. My teacher is 100% always right. None can change that. This is the quality. These are the qualities of a teacher that is mentioned. And some words. I am the most fortunate of all who labor. See, there are so many laborers we find. Morning they go to the work and evening they come back. So many government school teachers, government employees, the morning they go and they come and after retirement you will just watch any retired government employee, he is 90% retired. Just to be one day. The post died means the person died. But for us, no retirement. For us, no retirement. We don't die. So, our labor is the best labor. Though we work hard, but our labor is supposed to be the fortunate labor. Luckily, we have come to this labor. So, we keep it down. And I know that what I build with love and truth will last forever. If a child gets love and truth from us, forever that will be there in him. Whether we are alive or not, even when we are dying, people will remember us. And I am privileged to see that life is reborn each day. This is very important especially for this folk at home you know how many problems are there so many bosses are there and uh, uh, nobody gives us respect and nobody gives us uh, leisure so with all that you when you come here and you are given a good reception here that is why every day you are reborn that means at home you die almost when you come here you take the rebirth Reborn each day with new questions, ideas, and friendships. Yesterday he might have punished a kid. That kid today comes to the class. He never remembers that about your yesterday's punishment. He comes with a fresh mind and he hugs you. Or she hugs you. You may be remember yesterday I had this life at remarks or I was rash with him. But Jay never remembers. So this is the rebirth. Great friendship. You will never get from anybody. You don't get this kind of friendship from your wife, husband, children, because they are all conditioned now. Your husband is loving you means that's a condition because you are coming to the school, getting up uh, 20,000 or 25,000 or 50,000, and your vice versa. We are having our husband's means because we have no so I don't explain much about that because you know that very well. So, unconditional love he our child has. He never asks for anything. Be like this teacher, I love you. No student says. Teacher, you be like you, I love you. But husband will never say, father will never say, mother will never say. Have I heard or not? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Did he experience? Did he experience in life? This one. Yeah. Be truthful. That's what I am saying. Be truthful. No need to be afraid of anything in the world. I am teacher. teacher. 